Hi, my name is Hannah, and I'm so excited we get to do story time together today. Let's start with open, shut them. Can you put your hands up like this? Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, uh, but do not put them in. Oh, great. Okay, let's do it one more time. We're going to start with our hands up like this. Are you ready? Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open wide your little mouth. Ah, uh, but do not put them in. Great, that was a fun way to start our story time. Now let's read our first book. This book is called Today is Monday by Eric Carle. And you see on the cover there's a cat. There is a cat in this story. Here's the title page. There is a plate. And then what's this? It's a fork, a knife, and a spoon. So this book is about different kinds of food. Here's the first food. The first food is string beans. And then there's an animal on this page too. What is this animal? It's a porcupine. He has the string beans stuck on his quills. And this book has a song for us to sing together. So the song goes like this. Today is Monday, today is Monday. Monday string beans, Monday string beans. All you hungry children, come and eat it up. All right, let's go to the next day of the week. After Monday comes Tuesday. And on Tuesday, there is a, s what is this? Snake. And it is, has spaghetti. So now we're going to add Tuesday to our song. So we'll sing Tuesday Spaghetti. Then we'll go back and sing Monday String Beans. All you hungry children, come and eat it up. Ready to sing together? Here we go. Today is Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday Spaghetti. Monday String Beans. All you hungry children, come and eat it up. Okay, so we had Tuesday Spaghetti. What day of the week comes after Tuesday? Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, what animal do we have for Wednesday? That's a big animal. It is a elephant. And the elephant is eating soup. But for this song, let's just not say soup. Let's say it, let's say it like this. Zoop. And he's taking the soup all the way up his trunk. So it goes Wednesday, zoop. Then we're going to go back to Tuesday Spaghetti and Monday String Beans. Are you ready to sing the song? Today is Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Wednesday, zoop. Tuesday Spaghetti. Monday String Beans. All you hungry children, come and eat it up. Okay, so after Wednesday, what day of the week comes next? It is Thursday. And on Thursday, we have... A cat, of course. What does the cat say? It says, meow, meow. And the cat is eating some roast beef. So we're going to say Thursday roast beef, and then we're going to go backward through all the other days of the week. The song's getting longer. Are you ready to sing? Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Thursday roast beef. Wednesday, zoop. Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans, all you hungry children, come and eat it up. All right, so we've gotten all the way to Thursday with the cat and the roast beef. What comes after Thursday? It is Friday. And Friday, you see, starts with the letter F. On Friday, we have Friday fresh fish. So they all start with the letter F. Friday fresh fish. There's the fresh fish fresh fish, <laughs> that's hard to say. The fresh fish has, is being eaten by, what kind of bird is this? See his cool beak? This is a pelican. Okay, so Friday fresh fish, and then we're going backward all the way to Monday. Ready to sing the song? 
Today is Friday, today is Friday. Friday, fresh fish. Thursday, roast beef. Wednesday, zoop. Tuesday, spaghetti. Monday, string beans. Are you hungry, children? Come and eat it up. All right, so we've gotten all the way to Friday, but we're not through all the days of the week next yet. Which one comes next? It is Saturday. On Saturday, there is a chicken. And this animal is a fox. So let's sing Saturday chicken and then we're going backward all the way back to Monday. Here we go. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. Saturday chicken. Friday fresh fish. Thursday roast beef. Wednesday zoop. Tuesday spaghetti. Monday string beans. Are you hungry children? Come and eat it up. Okay, so we got all the way to Saturday chicken. There's one more day of the week. What comes after Saturday? Sunday. Oh, and on Sunday there is a monkey. What does the monkey say? Can you do some monkey sounds? It goes, ooh, 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 ah, 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 ah. And the monkey is eating one of my favorite foods. It might be one of your favorites too. Ice cream, yum. Okay, so now we have all of the days of the week. Are you ready to sing the song? We're gonna go backward from Sunday ice cream all the way back to Monday string beans. Here we go. Today is Sunday, today is Sunday. Sunday ice cream, Saturday chicken, Friday fresh fish, Thursday roast beef, Wednesday zoop. Tuesday spaghetti, Monday string beans. Are you hungry children? Come and eat it up. And we've been singing about these hungry children the whole time. Oh, and there they are. There are all the hungry children eating all of the foods. And then you can see pictures on the wall with all the different animals that we saw in this book. The porcupine, the snake, the elephant, the cat, the pelican, the fox, and the monkey. The end. Oh, that was so much fun to sing together. Let's do a finger play now, the 10 galloping horses. So we're gonna start out with 10 fingers like this, and we're gonna be doing some horse galloping sounds on our legs, can you do that? All right, so the rhyme goes like this. 10 galloping horses came through town. Five were white and five were brown. They galloped up. They galloped down. Ten galloping horses came through town. So when they gallop up, you can lean back and go up to the top of your legs, and then you can go all the way down to the ground for when they gallop down. Let's do the rhyme one more time together. We're going to start with ten for the ten horses. Ready? Ten galloping horses came through town. Five were white and five were brown. They galloped up. They galloped down. 10 galloping horses came through town. Nice job. Okay, so it is getting to be really cold outside, isn't it? It might even snow. Let's sing a song about snow. Maybe it'll make it snow, who knows? So the song about snow goes like this. We're gonna say, snow is falling. We'll say, winter is here. Snow is getting deeper. And then let's say, have good cheer. And for have good cheer, you can pretend to make a snowball and throw it at somebody. Or if you're there with somebody in your family, you could tickle them. Okay, and this song goes to the tune of Frere Jaca, so I bet you already know that tune. We'll sing it two times, here we go. Snow is falling, snow is falling. Winter's here, winter's here. Snow is getting deeper, snow is getting deeper. Have good cheer, have good cheer. Oh, that was fun. Let's sing it one more time. We're gonna start with the snow falling down like this. Snow is falling, snow is falling. Winter's here, winter's here. Snow is getting deeper, snow is getting deeper. Have good cheer, have good cheer. Oh, that was fun. All right, let's read another book. This book is nonfiction. What does nonfiction mean? Do you know? Is it real facts or is it a made-up story? 
It is real facts, real information. This book is real information about this animal. This book is called Capybaras by Grace Hansen. And here is a capybara. Have you ever heard of that animal before? We're gonna learn all about it together. There's a capybara. Capybaras are the largest rodent species. So a rodent, have you heard that word before? A rodent, there's lots of different rodents. There's mice and rats and the beaver. That's the next biggest rodent. It's smaller than the capybara though. Here's a picture of a capybara with some beavers. So look how much bigger it is than the beavers. It can weigh as much as three beavers added together. It can weigh as much as 175 pounds. That's more than some grown-ups. They are also very, very tall and wide. Here is a picture of a capybara, the world's largest rodent, next to a standard poodle. Have you seen one of those dogs, a standard poodle? This is the big kind of poodle, not the toy poodle, a real large one. It's two feet tall and two feet wide. But the capybara is two feet tall, the same height, and even wider, four feet wide. Here's a close-up of the capybara's face. And you can see its brown fur really well. They're covered with this brown hair. It can be brown, reddish, or gray in color. And then they have small ears and long faces. And you notice its ears, its eyes, and its nose are all in this one little line right on the top of its head. That's because the capybaras live where it's very hot and they like to stay in water to keep cool. So they can put their bodies into the water and just have the top of their head out and have their ears, eyes, and nose out, out of the water. Oh, I like this picture. Does it gross you out? It's the capybara's teeth. Capybaras have long, sharp teeth. What do you think they like to eat? Can you guess? They like to eat grass and water plants, because remember they spend a lot of time in the water. You can actually, if you look very carefully, you can see a little tiny piece of grass stuck to this capybara's tooth. Do you see that? It's a little green piece of grass. And this is cool. Look at that foot. It looks like a duck's foot, doesn't it? It is a webbed foot. See the webbing between the toes? Capybaras have web feet to help them swim. They're very good swimmers. Oh yeah, here's a capybara hanging out in the water. Capybaras live in Central and South America, so it can get very hot there, and sitting in the water helps them keep cool. Here's a big group of them all sitting in the water. Capybaras like to hang out together in large groups sometimes. They can make a lot of noises to communicate with each other. They can yelp, bark, chirp, growl, and even purr like a cat. Oh, here are some baby capybaras. They're so little, do you think that they're cute? Baby capybaras are called pups. Around five pups are born at once. The pups weigh about three pounds when they are born, but they grow very fast because remember, they can get all the way to 175 pounds. And there's one more little capybara in the grass and that is the end. So now you know all about the world's largest rodent, the capybara. Let's stand up and stretch out our muscles. I wanna do tall as a tree. So for this one, we're going to start out going like this. Tall as a tree, wide as a house, thin as a pin, small as a mouse. Jack in the box, you sit so still, will you jump up? Yes, I will. Oh, that was fun, let's do it again. We're gonna start out like this, tall as a tree. Tall as a tree. Wide as a house, thin as a pin, small as a mouse. Jack in the box, you sit so still, will you jump up? Yes, I will. All right, let's do it 
one more time. This time, let's do it super fast. And can you do tall on a tree all the way up on your tiptoes? All right, here we go. Tall as a tree, wide as a house, thin as a pin, small as a mouse. Check in the box, you sit so still. Will you jump up? Yes, I will. Oh, that was fun. All right, let's read one more story together. This book is called, A Kiss Means I Love You. A kiss means I love you. Oh, can you blow a kiss? A wave means, what does a wave mean? It means hello or goodbye. Can you wave? A smile means I'm happy. Oh, look at that boy smile. Can you smile like that? A tug means let's go. A laugh means it's funny. Can you laugh? <laughs> a cry means I'm sad. Aw. A yum means I like it. Oh, she's eating a graham cracker and saying yum. Do you like graham crackers? A pout means I'm mad. Can you pout? A cheer means I did it. Hooray! I am proud. Let's say hooray together. Ready? Hooray! Oh, look what this boy is doing. Shh. What does that mean? It means be quiet. A shiver means I'm chilly. Please warm me up quick. A sniffle, a seize, and a cough mean I'm sick. Oh, no. A roar means I'm scary. Can you roar like this boy? Roar. A reach means let's share. A clap means I like it. Oh, can you clap? A hug means I care. Oh, if you're there with somebody in your family, can you give them a hug? Or can you give yourself a hug? A yawn means I'm sleepy. Oh, can you yawn? Please tuck me in tight. A kiss means I love you. Oh, blow one more kiss. I love you. Good night. Oh, and there he is, fast asleep. The end. Those are all my stories and rhymes for today. Thank you for coming to share story time with me. I had lots of fun, and I hope you did too. I hope I'll see you at the library soon. Bye-bye.